What's good? This is Marcus DeFingers back at it again with another video. In this video, I'm going to show you... Actually, I got to tell you guys something. I made a huge mistake. I downloaded Logic 10.5.1 this morning while working on a project that I needed to get done. So I downloaded it, and you know what? Logic would not open up. So what, I, what did I do? Um, I was working on a project. It was like two or three this morning. Had uh, two projects I needed to get done before I went to sleep. Um, upgraded Logic earlier in the day. Didn't open it open it up earlier in the day, so I didn't know the problem was there until I was trying to get to these projects and I couldn't open them up. Spent uh, about two hours before going to sleep uh, researching online, looking at videos, uh, Apple support forums, people saying uh, providing solutions, deleting the cache, uninstall the app. Uh, I uninstalled Logic like uninstalled Logic like three or four times. Wasn't happening, so I had to get on the call with Apple today and they helped me solve the problem. Shout out to Kyle from Apple Support, uh, genius, senior genius advisor, whatever his title is, um, for helping me solve the problem. I'm going to help you uh, solve the problem that he helped me solve and hopefully this helps someone. Uh, it might not help your specific situation, but it helped me, so I'm hoping it helps you. Um, so what did Kyle have me do? He had me go into the library folder on my laptop. How do you get there? If you go, if you're on the finder window, you want to go to go up here. I'm going to be moving kind of fast. So um, slow this down, rewind it, rewatch it. Um, but I want to get through this and share, share it with you so you can get back to making uh, music, get back to your audio editing and mixing and things in Logic Pro X. Um, and uh, I'm on the trial version. So I was using 10.5 up until yesterday. Then I was like, let me upgrade. All the bugs should be worked out. Uh, I was wrong. Got to 10.51 didn't happen. So let's get into it. Go to your uh, finder window. You want to go to your library folder. How do you get there? Hit go. Um, you want to click library. So if you don't see library, if you hit go and hold down the control option, you should see library show up here. You select that. You should be brought to your library fold, uh, window. You want to make sure that your library folder, here's my library folder here. You want to make sure that you're on your hard drive library, not your username, not your home folder. Um, how do you see the difference? Um, down here, you should see the path. If you don't see that, click view and click uh, show path bar. So right now I have it hidden now, but um, click uh, view, show path bar, and you'll see what folder, um, the path to your folder that you're in. Um, so here's my uh, home folder. Uh, I don't want the library on the home folder. I want the library that's in the hard drive. So make sure that's where Logic defaults to storing your plugins. Um, so you're on your hard drive, uh, library, um, and you want to go to audio. And once you're in the audio folder, you want to go to your plugins folder. And once you're there, you want to go to your components folder. So from what Kyle was telling me, the update from 10.5 to 10.5.1, in 10.5.1, Logic Pro X no longer supports 32-bit plugins. Um, 10.5, I believe, still supported to some extent uh, 32-bit plugins. 10.5.1, 32-bit is gone. You can only use 64-bit plugins. And I had a lot of plugins. I had 500 plugins. I think now I have uh, three something. So I ended up deleting a lot because of this process. So what did Kyle have me do? He had me go into this components folder um, and I copied this. I'm going to create another finder window here um, and just on the desktop. I dragged the components folder to my desktop and that'll make a copy of it. Uh, and while that's copying, I'm going to do this whole process again um, for you right now live. It's going to copy, I think I have 300 or so folders over here, um, and uh, uh, it's going to take a, a minute. Um, once that copy copies, I'm going to try to keep both windows open here. He had me delete the, the files from the original components folder, so make sure you're following. On the left will be the main plugins folder where all of your Logic uh, plugins will be stored. On the right is the copy um, that I copied over. So here's my components on the right. You want to make sure you know what's where because this is going to help the process. Um, so on the left, this is the main plugin folder. I had to go in here, select all. You can do that by hitting Command A and then deleting all. You can either drag and drop them to the trash. Um, let's see if it'll let me drag and drop. You can, it's not letting me drag. It. There we go. Um, you can drag and drop to your trash, wherever it is on the left or down there, or you can just hit Command and Delete, and it'll delete all of them. So Command A, select all, Command D, delete. Uh, and then what he had me do next um, was one by one, not one by one, but little groups at a time. Um, so I started off by doing as many plugins as I could see, uh, or actually I did it by alphabet. So let's say I wanted to go up to uh, D. Um, so I said, okay, 
let me copy this over. And he said, just copy over a little bit at a time. It could be, the whole process took me about 10 minutes. Um, it could take you longer if you have like thousands of plugins, but it's definitely worth it to get you back up and running. So you select just a handful um, and then you want to uh, open up Logic. So um, select just a handful of apps, uh, of plugins from your uh, desktop folder, drag it over to your main plugin folder and uh, Logic should open. If Logic doesn't open, that means one of those plugins is a problem. So I repeated that process. So let's say um, these work, Logic open fine. You then want to close Logic. So uh, quit Logic Pro or Command Q um, and then I'm going to grab the next batch. Let's say um, I'm going to grab these uh, here. Drag those over. Um, you don't. You want to make sure that the ones you dragged over are still selected. You don't want to deselect them. Um, and I'll tell you why in a moment. Uh, so open up Logic Pro and just repeat the process. Open up Logic again. Um, Logic should open. If it does not open, then one of those plugins you dragged over is a problem. Um, so Logic opened up fine. Uh, no problem there. Close Logic. Go to the next batch you want to drag over. So let's say I want to drag. Um, I, I kept the two as many as I could see, but I know all these work now. So just to speed up the process, I am going to um, drag a bunch more over now. Um, and then I'll leave a handful um, just so I can show you what happens if uh, there's a problem with the file. So I'm just going to drag all the way down to, uh, let's say, to you. Um, drag these over. See, there's another 200. Um, so I would grab a chunk at a time, maybe 20 or 30 at a time, no more than, I would do more than 20, 30. Um, uh, again, drag those over, copy logic, uh, open logic. Um, if it opens up, everything works fine. Um, close logic and copy the next batch over. It does take time if you have a lot. It took me 10 minutes for about uh, 500 plugins. Um, I got it down to about 300, I think, or maybe a little over 300. Um, close logic and then copy the next batch over. So let's say um, I copy all these over and let's say there is a problem. Let's say logic doesn't open. Um, so let's say I copy this batch over. Um, I try to open logic. It will open, so I'm not going to go through that process, but let's say I tried to open logic. It wouldn't open. I get the spinning wheel of death. I check my finder. Um, it says uh, um, logic not responding. Um, you can do a force quit. I won't go over all those procedures, but you, at that point, you know that it's one of these plugins that's a problem. Once you figure out which one is not opening up logic or you which batch, drag that same batch back over to your desktop. Um, and then choose a smaller batch. So maybe cut it in half, maybe just do one or five of them. Um, so what, what you're doing is you're narrowing down the, uh, the problematic uh, plugins. So uh, I drag those over, let's say, let's assume Logic opens up. Okay, fine, that worked fine. Let's say I, I drag these over, um, Logic opens up fine. Okay, cool, close Logic. Um, let's say I drag uh, these five over and Logic doesn't open up. Um, I then now I know it's one of these five, so I drag these back over. Um, and let's say I, for those, I just want to do one at a time, so I'm going to do one. Open Logic. Let's say Logic opens up. Okay, that one's there's no problem. Close Logic. Um, drag another one over. Um, let's say Logic opens up. Okay, no problem there. I think you get you understand what I'm saying here. Um, close Logic. Uh, let's drag this one over. Let's say Logic gets stuck on this one. Then that's the problem. Um, luckily for me, all of the plugins that were problems are plugins I haven't used probably in like two years. So I just deleted them. If there are plugins that are causing problems that you do use, like on a daily basis, you use at least within the last month, um, delete them, but, uh, make note of what they are. Reach out to the manufacturers and say, Hey, can I get a 64 bit license for this plugin? Do you have one? Or maybe they didn't update it for some reason and they're not ready. Um, maybe they're not updating it and you just have to find an alternative plugin that does a similar feature. Um, that's the process they showed me worked for me. If you have any questions, definitely reach out. Um, hit me up uh, in the DM. Leave a comment on this video somewhere. Um, uh, hopefully this helps someone. Uh, they helped me. Shout out to Kyle. Shout out to Apple for helping me solve this problem. I can now get back to work in Logic. Um, so I'm hoping this helps someone. Thank you for checking it out. More videos on the way. More music on the way. Um, and uh, and uh, be safe, everyone, and be well. All right. Peace.